Hey guys, I'm starting the vlog where I left off last week, so it's Saturday and I'm a little bit sick, so I'm having this herbal tea and I don't know, I just wanted to <laughs> using my hand instead of showing my face because you saw how I looked on the last vlog, very tired and a little bit grumpy. I am still a little bit grumpy actually. Anyway, I just wanted to start the vlog for this week to start early in case I have like some kind of brain fart malfunction the way I did this week so <laughs> I'm starting the vlog you can't say I didn't start it early you can't say I didn't make the effort the vlog is now started it's Sunday and I still have a cold that's why I have like I'm dressed as if it's like the dead of winter but I have to go outside and I know I look so bad right now, it's so horrible but I'm going out to uh, to meet up with uh, with my cousin Zoe after her, her work so even though I feel like doo doo, I haven't seen her in a month I think I, I think the last time I saw her it was in a video and I was like oh I'm seeing, so I'm seeing Zoe, we see each other every other week which is really cool and then now like all of a sudden I haven't seen her for like a whole month so I'm gonna go see her I'm gonna take this opportunity and I know I know how bad I look and I woke up with this, this eye like completely red so now it's a little better but I'm still not good so here I go I hope I don't scare her because I really do look like I've got like it's the dead of winter I'm still wearing this wooly jumper with my big winter coat and like scarf to protect my throat yeah let's go I feel really ridiculous with this beautiful sunshine to have my winter coat but at least I'm protecting myself I've never been here before, it's really pretty and there's this lady making bubbles I'm gonna go have a look, I guess, while I'm waiting for my cousin I'm actually really warm so I'm considering taking off my coat wrong so now we have the right one and Zoe was the bravest person ever to go and return the drinks because I would have never dared I have like the biggest fear of people spitting in my glass or in my food so let's, let's try this one I, I think it's gonna be better than the last one <laughs> Lenny and it's Thursday and I often film uh, more footage for my vlogs on Thursday though I do try to get some bits and pieces out there during the week though uh, this week has been quite an uneventful <laughs> a lot uneventful week um, compared to last week where I was uh, seeing people and going around this week it's already Thursday and I feel like I haven't been up to much there hasn't been anything going on it has been a quite a horrible week for me uh, unfortunately though nothing of consequence really happened I've just been in the most horrid mood all week and when you're in a horrible mood you everything that happens to you whether it's a tiny annoying thing or like anything everything is just so annoying so if you stub your toe on a table on a normal day you'd be like oh out I just stub my toe out 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 or even maybe you wouldn't even notice it you'd be like ah, and then just go on with your day and right now this week if I if I've stubbed my toe it's like what the f this f table I just stubbed my f toe why is this happening to me yada 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 like come completely dramatic out of proportion and my 
my week has just been horrible like this because you feel so guilty about being negative and you feel so bad for being in a bad mood and you don't want to be in a bad mood i mean who likes being in a bad mood so i was just like ah so annoyed and today even though i'm not feeling as emotional i am feeling rather on edge and angry um but i feel like it's slightly better hopefully it is slightly better and i'm not gonna crash in a few hours but so yeah fingers crossed i know i shouldn't be maybe not saying all of this to you on camera but i mean what the hell i'm just i want to talk to you guys i want to be open with you and yeah i've been having kind of a shitty week i know that last week i said that i might be on pms and i feel like if last week was pms this week is like double dose of pms and me tmi i have very long cycles and this is an extremely long cycle and i feel like i'm just waiting waiting for for tom to come where are you tom where are you so i'm almost sure like 95 percent sure that this is a really really bad case of pms because I go from tears to irrational anger and I'm craving so much sweet food not like candy and stuff but I want to eat cake all day I mean I could like munch on a carrot or something no I want cake <laughs> it's so horrible anyway so yeah that kind of like not screwed my week up but still kind of screwed my week up because it obviously mood swings affect you it's like you're not driving the car something else is so you're not as productive as you are or especially in a creative level i mean you're trying to work and you're trying to be creative but all of a sudden get so angry and then you, you like be like ah oh, this shit and just like go away and do something else and then you feel guilty and then you start crying because you're not working yeah that has been my week that has been me this week so awful and this morning because you know like bad things like negative energy and attitude attracts negative shit so this morning i was doing my makeup so that the, if my makeup looks really weird today that's the reason i was doing my eyeliner and of course a piece of the the, the pencil broke and fell into my eye in a really really painful way so my eye was like twitching in every direction trying to eject that thing and i was like crying and crying from one eye i had a q-tip and i was like trying to like find the thing and i couldn't see it i was like holding my eye open and i couldn't find the piece and in the end i just like rubbed my eye with my hand and somehow it went away but after that like my whole side of my face was black and because it was so painful uh i was like crying from one eye and after a while i was like, crying from both eyes because i was like why why and i'm i'm over that phase of asking why and blaming things that happened to me like on the universe and things like i'm kind of kind of over that but today i was just like ah. <laughs> oh my god please tell me there's someone else out there that understands what i'm going through and i'm not an absolute weirdo so that was a great big ramble to start off the video i know i like to talk a lot of talking in my videos no point so today so far i've I don't know, I've studied some Japanese, did some uh, sketching, and I just had lunch. Uh, hopefully nothing in my teeth. <laughs> and now I'm considering... Considering going to the farmer's market. But I so don't want to do that 20 minute walk, even though it's like a gorgeous day outside. I'm like, Ugh. maybe I can wait. But also, when? when should i do it if not today you know oh you know what i mean so yeah you guys will get to see if i do it or not i don't know what else i would do today i mean i'm like productivity like uh, complete uh. so i mean might as well do it maybe i'm discouraged because it's like the lunch hour and like 
everybody is in the street right now so maybe that's why i'm like mm, should i go should i not go okay i've been rambling on for like 10 minutes already so i'm gonna go uh, there was a point to me starting this vlog i did want to tell you guys some some important things first of all um next weekend so if you're watching this on the day it comes out which is a monday it will be the weekend of that week there is vidcon uh europe and i'm going there for the first time i feel like i've already sort of announced it on uh, on twitter on social media saying like oh i'm looking forward to going to do vidcon i'm going as a creator and um my cat found his ball if you find hear the this clinking sound it's my cat uh, i'm going there for the first time i've never been to any vidcon type event especially out of the country so i'm very excited and i'm looking forward to it even though i'm very nervous because i've never really traveled alone i mean i've been like maybe to a country with some friends and then from that country i went alone to another country and then came back to that country with to meet my with my friends again but this trip is going to be like did you have to find that ball now <laughs> This trip is like A to Z, Z to A, completely me, myself and I and I'm really looking forward to uh, experiencing this uh, this solo travel even though it's like Amsterdam, it's not that far away still, I'm doing it, I'm doing something by myself and that will probably bring up more travel opportunities where I'll be able to go by myself further and further away from here and I'm really, really excited. So yeah, I'm going to VidCon and I hope to meet lots of people, make friends and learn a lot, especially because I am going as a creator. So I'm going to go to a lot of workshops and boards and la la la. Very excited about that. So yeah, VidCon is one thing. And the other thing I just wanted to mention real quick, if you haven't seen, if you haven't checked it out, I just uh, put out my March rewards on Patreon. I know it's not much, but I do want to keep putting rewards out there for the patrons that do support me in any way. So check it out. I always post monthly rewards. Sometimes it's a, it's a smaller reward if I've been having... It's a smaller reward if I've been busy that month or if I've not been on top of my work but I always always put out rewards for for my dear dear patrons that are supporting me and being patient and encouraging me so go check it out if you haven't yet so that's what I wanted to say and I'll see you all on the rest of the day and also I'll see you in Thursday's video by the way last Thursday video is up which is a collaboration with my cousin Zoe if you haven't seen it already it's really funny we talk about English idioms and we're inside Zoe's brain because she has to translate like a, an English saying but like trying to interpret it so yeah did i explain that correctly i don't know but go check out last week's video and don't forget to keep a lookout for this thursday's video yeah i'll try my best to film at vidcon this weekend oh my goodness ah. <laughs> okay so i'm going to the market i'm going to the friggin market and i know i look like really weird with my scarf but i'm still a little bit teensy tiny like maybe out of a hundred percent being sick I'm still like 5% sick and my throat is still a little bit scratchy and I don't want to risk it so I'm gonna go like this without a coat which may be risky but I'm still protecting my throat so I'm not sick so by the way I just received two not one but two really big and expensive bills to pay so I'm saying F it I'm going to the market I'm gonna buy a ton of vegetables and healthy stuff and make myself feel good because it's a good thing, it's a good task and say screw it I'm taking care of myself and screw those bills I'll pay them, obviously but you ain't gonna stop me from buying some vegetables so I'm going to the, mar I'm going to the market the lunch crowd has died down kind of <laughs> and I'm going to the freaking market oh my god, look at this I really need to buy a new tripod because look, it just falls Whoa. <laughs> look at the amount of empty egg boxes they're from the market actually and I always like not I don't throw it away because I'm like oh I can just reuse it and then I end up with five so I'm bringing them all back this is gonna be one of the bags I'm gonna use and I'm also gonna go uh, I'm gonna go get Wallace Wallace what are you Wallace oh my god uh, <laughs> this tripod <laughs> next month the universe is gonna gift me a lot of money here's Wallace 
we're going for a trip. We're going. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back from the market and I was right not to wear a jacket because I was uh, way too hot, especially climbing back up with my caddy or my trolley, I don't know how you call it, with Wallace full of like f completely full up. I did not expect to buy so much, but it was really hot so I had to take my scarf off, I had to take my jacket, well my denim jacket, not like my coat jacket off and when I got back home I was like open the windows, take off, take my shoes off and clothes off. <sighs> so hot. I think I went at like the perfect moment at the, of the day. It was like 2.30ish I think by the time I got there. And um, it was like, well, there were people there, but it wasn't like super crowded as it usually is. I could just like walk around freely and the like the queue wasn't too bad. So um, I'm going to try and show you what I bought, but I already put everything away. Bang! <laughs> oh no, the kitchen lighting is really bad. Come on camera, I know you can do better than this. There we go. Um, don't pay attention, my kitchen is always dirty. It's a type of kitchen because it's so small, it gets dirty so fast. So I kind of give up on trying to clean it and clean it every day. So yeah, so for the dried goods, I already put them away. I didn't buy too much. Here's my beautiful, I just love these pots. What did I buy? Because I already have quite a lot already. I had to fill up on oats. And I bought a few extra dried apricots as a snack. I already had some leftover dates, so I bought like just a few apricots for the road. And I filled up on sultana raisins, which I put on everything, as you may already know if been, you've been watching me for a while. For the rest, I still have a bunch of things still in stock. Like, look at how many almonds I still have. <laughs> okay. So I, didn't, I ran out of space, so I put some of it here. I think I'm liking some vitamin C, so I bought some rare fruit, some lemon, and these are avocados, but they're still really, 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 really hard, so I don't know when they're gonna get ripe. Yeah, they're all, uh, no, they're all pretty much stone hard, rock hard, rock hard. <clears throat> here you have the apples that I'm keeping keeping separate so they don't play their apple voodoo on the rest of my fruit and veg. Bananas. And when they're a little bit riper, I'll put a few in the fridge in the evening so in the morning I can have some smoothie for my cereal bowl. Okay, so I bought some onions. Oh my god, this camera. I'm gonna try and hold it, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to. Okay, if you see my finger, it's because I'm holding it <laughs> holding the camera. Okay, sweet potatoes and actual normal potatoes. These are great when it's the end of the month and you're out of food and you just like make mashed potato or potato fries or sweet potato fries if you have sweet potato, potato left over. So first let me explain how I put my fridge together. This time usually I just put everything in the, the drawer here and then I end up like at the very bottom I find these old flattened rotting vegetables after a while. So I decided to just like Put them a bit everywhere in my fridge. I mean, I don't have much of other things. I mean, I have like a bit of garlic butter, some chopped up tomatoes. I really don't have anything fresh except vegetables, really, and a little tiny bit of dairy. I don't eat that much. So I just put it in like Tupperware, open Tupperware here, and let's see if it works out. But hopefully, it'll make, it'll, it'll inspire me, inspire me more to like make better recipes or like not just grab the first thing I see out of the fridge because I'll have I'll have options. So first pay no mind to this old broccoli and this old fennel and this really old piece of celery. They've been here for a while but I still need to juice this one, make soup, make soup and yeah those are the older things from my fridge but other than that I bought some bunch of carrots, like a really a lot of carrots, but I munch on them throughout the day. I make like, they're like the main ingredient of my uh, juices and I pop some of them in my soup. I got some spinach leaves, yummy, yummy for juices. Um, courgette. String beans, I think they're called string beans. I'm, I'm not sure in English, pretty sure in French they're called like princesses, like haricot princesse, so really cute princesses in here. Mushrooms, these are um, beets, red beets and turnips for juicing also. Uh, we've got some cabbage, I think it's cabbage, shoe, cabbage, <laughs> some cabbage, some broccoli and here 
I've got some, oh my god, I'm not even showing you. Cabbage, broccoli, and here you can't see it, so it kind of goes against my rules. But I have, maybe if I put it like that, some leeks. But those are like exclusively almost used for soup. So there you go, that's what I bought. I think I showed you everything. And um, yeah, pretty happy to have done that. Usually it takes me ages to find the courage and energy to do it. But um, why am I blue? Still blue. Uh, it takes me ages to find the courage and energy to do it, but I did it and I'm really proud. And it, as usual, it didn't cost me that much. Like, <laughs> it's unbelievable how, how little sometimes I buy at the supermarket and it costs so much and like how much I buy at the farmer's market and it's like what really are you sure you you weighed everything properly <laughs> so yeah that's what I bought today and I, I can feel <laughs> I can feel that I've been speaking more than I've been speaking for the whole entire week because my throat which has been in resting for the past few days feels scratchy and also because I want to start singing in the shower again, but I can't. Well, I mean, I like hum, but I want to belt things out and be like, no. But yeah, I'm afraid to like hurt my throat again. And I, I don't want to be like a wimp, but when I get th uh, sore throats, they get like so, so bad. They get so bad that I can't swallow in anything, even water. Like the first day after I got sick, uh, and the first thing in the morning, I drank like this uh, glass of water and immediately, immediately choked on it and threw everything up, which was really gross. Sorry, TMI, but that's how bad I get throat aches. And that's why I'm a wimp about like being careful. But my voice is like nice and low and sexy and raspy, like in Phoebe from Friends. I'm talking a lot. See you in a minute, guys.